But hello, welcome everybody. Oops, I want to adjust that. Sorry, just a little bit. I'm trying to get things situated. So welcome to another Facebook Friday, another Freely Cheap Friday. As always, it's Friday. <laughs> yes, we made it to another end of the week. Hopefully everybody had a great week this week. Uh, yeah, it was beautiful here in Michigan. And then today, of course, this is so funny because there's a home football game tonight. It's going to be raining all day and all night. So kind of a bummer. Hey, Nikki, how are you doing? Um, they have had rain. Hey, Sandra, how are you doing? Um, these poor kids have had uh, rain every Friday home game that they've had. So hey, Tammy, how are you doing? So anyway, that's just how it goes. Hey, Susie. Yay, I'm so glad everybody's hopping on. So good to have everybody here joining us. Yes, good morning, Miss Sandra. Good morning, everybody. Uh, yeah, yeah. So like I said, hopefully it was a good week. Um, I actually have... Um, the simple, beautiful car class down at the stamp studio this afternoon. So right after Facebook Live, I'm going to be booking on out of here to go get every... Well, it's all set up, but actually one of the cards I'm going to show you guys today um, in just a little bit we're making at class. So I got to get that one down there, but everything else is all ready to go. So that's good, right? So yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see what's been going on. Um, ooh, actually exciting news. Look what I have. Oops, I meant to do that too. Um, the new Stampin', well, what are they calling it? I think it's a paper trimmer. I think that's what they're calling it this time. But can you guys see? I'm actually going to, hey, Roseanne, how are you? I'm going to show you guys um, how to use it. I mean, obviously, it's pretty simple. But um, there are some nice features on it. The first one being, and those things slid, um, they have the cutter and the scorer on the same uh, rail and there's enough room for both of them so I do need to label because that is my biggest fear is that I'm gonna go to score which is the lighter one and cut on accident it doesn't matter if you go the other way but if you cut instead of score you're in trouble so anyway but yeah I haven't had a chance to play with it too much I was just kind of poking around with it last night um, I know Tammy I wish you were closer to come uh, to my classes too it would be awesome if you could come anytime um, the one thing I want to show you, and yes, so Sandra, you've seen the trimmer. That's awesome. Um, I'm going to try to show you from the back because I think that this is um, <laughs> keeping it a secret. So what I understand, Sandra, is that they're trying to gauge so how many they're going to sell during the demonstrator pre-order period, which is this whole month of October, um, just to kind of gauge, you know, they don't want to go into a back order situation, I'm sure is um, what the problem is. Hey, Liz. Um, so they're trying to figure out, you know, how many they're going to sell during this demonstrator pre-order period to then hopefully make sure they have enough in stock to then, um, you know, be able to sell them to customers. So that's the biggest thing. I'm sure they're just trying to make sure they have enough stockpiled so that when they offer them to customers, it doesn't go into a back order situation because that's just no fun. So that's my understanding. So it's not really a secret. I think they're they're just taking um, you know this month of October to kind of figure out how many they're going to sell and how many they think they need. And and you know what? That's like the worst job in the world to me. <laughs> I would think is trying to estimate how many of these things the the trimmer that you need um, you know to make sure you don't go into the back order situation. I'm seeing lots of friends saying hello. Hey Debbie. Hey Cindy. So glad you guys can join us. So yeah, but what I wanted to show you, so on the trimmer, um, and it's actually really nice. So they've got this little guy that um, flips up um, and it's tight right now because I haven't used it very much. <laughs> um, but you can see it goes the full um, 12 inches or maybe even, oh, actually it goes to 17 inches. So it's super long, right? Um, but the cool part is, so this little handle flips down in and then can you kind of see on the back here, there's like a little groove where it just slips right back into and it kind of clicks right in place. So it's tight enough that it's not going to be winging out, you know, when you don't want it to, but when you want it to open, it opens very nicely, I think. And then it's a nice straight edge, so you're going to get, you know, good straight cuts on it too. And then they've got the lines going all the way down, which I always think is so important because you hopefully have it lined up across the top here, but if it's a little bit cockeyed, these lines are going to help make sure that you keep it straight all the way. So. Yeah, so very cool. So we're gonna actually use this a little bit today too, but I wanted to show everybody. So yeah, Sandra, it's not a secret. They're just trying to figure out um, how many they need. I mean, you know, a lot of times they do that and then, um, you know, it seems like probably like the very beginning of number, November, they're gonna give us some kind of information or who knows, maybe they'll even be available to everybody. The other really, really cool thing is they are selling 
um, the cutting blades in a multi-pack, you're gonna be able to get four cutting blades in one pack for your trimmer. And somehow these are different um, than the other blades. That was the big thing was their original manufacturer of the blades from the last trimmer didn't wanna make them anymore. They literally made them, they like sharpened them by hand or something and they're like, we're not doing that anymore. So something's different. Some They must've found a manufacturer that can like make the blades instead of having to hand sharpen them, I guess. So <laughs> you'd order one, yes. Yeah, I know. Well, hopefully very soon, Cindy, we will be able to get them out to into everybody's hands because they're very handy. And it's nice and portable too. It's really lightweight. Um, I think it's $25. I tried to write that down because I ordered it a little bit ago. Yep, $25 for the trimmer. And then I feel like maybe the four pack of blades was $12. So that's a great deal to get four more blades uh, for just $12. So keep you posted on that as soon as I know more, okay? Um, let's see what else is going on. Um, I guess I want to... Do we want to jump right in? Oh, well, let me, no, I got a couple more things to show you guys. Um, so I had my one day retreat last Saturday, all day long, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Came home like all super buzzed up and excited. And then the next day I couldn't do a thing. I was exhausted. So sat on my couch with my kids and read and just watched movies and had a nice relaxing day. And then this whole week has kind of been like <laughs> trying to get back into the swing of things. But I want to let you know, if you ordered a retreat in, in the box, you should have those by now because I sent them out the beginning of the week. So, because I, I didn't want to show the treats um, that I had put inside because I didn't want to spoil it for anybody. But I have posted, so I did a video. Um, this is one of, and this is actually straight out of, can you guys see, isn't this beautiful? Christmas cracker box, they call it. And I feel like this is kind of a traditional, it's, I don't know, some European traditional kind of treat um, thing that you might make for Christmas. But these were on the, in the catalog um, with the brightly gleaming suite of products. They showed kind of how to make one of those Christmas cracker boxes. So I decided I wanted to make a video. So I did that. So anyway, I just love, I'm like, Ooh. <laughs> I love this paper, isn't that? So I made them in a bunch of different patterns of that brightly gleaming paper. I used some of, so from their goodie bag, they got the very, or no, old olive pretty peacock reversible ribbon so i had to use that on there and then you can see the pretty little tag too with the um, ornament um, and then the little hammered metal i use that on the little tag there too so okay let's see nikki is asking the four pack of replacements are they all blades no it's just four um four cutting blades yeah because you can see so these are the darker um kind of gray and the lighter gray so that's the cutting blade and then that's the scoring blade. And you know what's funny? Um, I have like an old Fiskars one that I use for all my scoring and I literally don't think I have ever replaced my little scoring nub thing. It, it probably could use a replacement, but I wouldn't worry too much. Um, I'm sure they're gonna be selling replacements, maybe just, I don't know, in singles. I, I don't have any information on that. But yeah, this pack is all four, and this is really what you need. This is what you go through very quickly when you're cutting lots of paper too. So um, yeah, okay. So yeah, let me know if you have any other questions on that though. So yeah, but anyway, oh, so what I also wanted to say was I made a YouTube video for this cute little tree. Of course, I had to put some chocolate inside. So hopefully, I was a little concerned because this paper with the copper foil is a little bit sturdier but hopefully they didn't get too smushed in the shipment to you that was my one concern because it's so pretty like this right <laughs> i love it so yeah watch that video is already uploaded and then this is the other little treat that i made for everybody these cute little it's like a little triangle treat box you can see again i used some of the ribbon i used some more of the paper hey shannon how are you doing i'm glad you can join us Shannon knows about these because she was actually at the retreat, so she got one of these cute little treats um, last weekend. Yeah, so then a cute little tag too, and what does it say? May you enjoy this beautiful season. And they also got some of those, they're like, I think they're called brightly gleaming foil elements. We're gonna use those on a card, so I'll show you those more later. And then the pretty little stars, the bronze stars there too. Had to use a little bit of the denim ribbon because the blue works really well. So yeah, and then of course there's more candy inside of this little treat too. And this one, I just filmed the video, so I'm gonna get it uploaded to YouTube this weekend. So if you wanna know how to make either of these super cute little treats, and you can obviously use whatever paper you want. I think you wanna find something that's a little bit sturdier. 
Um, because if you use maybe just regular designer series paper, mm, they, they might not hold together quite as well, I guess, or hold up, I guess I would say. So find a little bit sturdier paper. Cardstock would work too, but I'd have to stamp on it or emboss or do something to it, right? So yeah, but this video, like I said, will be up this weekend at some point. I'll get that loaded. So yeah. Also, Tammy, hopefully I didn't spoil your surprise because those little treats are in your um, retreat in a box coming to you. Hopefully you have that already. So thank you guys. Um, yeah, I those little treats are so much fun to make. Um, and a lot of times I'll... I like this treat right here. I actually made a few years ago with some other um, really, was like a sturdy, really sturdy foil paper, maybe during celebration. I think we had a pretty foil paper. So I'll, I'll kind of reuse some ideas, you know, after a few years, because um, they always look different too when you use different products. So yeah. Um, okay, let's see what else is going on. Um, yeah, let's do our first drawing, you want to? So this is for that shaded spruce and gold ribbon. Um, this is part of that perfectly plaid or wrapped in plaid suite um, with that little gold accent and the shaded spruce there. You got your name in the drawing if you are new to me and just signed up for my email list or if you just haven't signed up yet, go ahead and do that, right? Because you'll get your name in the drawing. And then also if you shared the Facebook Live video, which I completely appreciate your shares. Thank you, it helps me find new uh, stampers, new friends to stamp with. So hey Sandy, how are you doing? Uh, yay! Okay, so lots of names in here actually because um, I had a bunch of people sign up for my email list. So thank you guys for that. So we've got some new names in here too. And then everybody that shares, I like I said, I really, really appreciate those shares. So go ahead and do that. You can do it now, you can do it later, all the way through next Thursday night. If you share this video right now, your name will go in the drawing for next Friday. Okay, so here we go. Toss them all around. And let's see, I've got one, yes. One, two, I have one now, okay. And, oh, Miss Amy Phillips. So she's new to my email list. So Amy, if you will send me your address, I'll check to see if I have that. Sometimes when people sign up for my email list, they give it to me and sometimes they don't. So if I don't have it, Amy, make sure you send that to me. Um, and then I will get your ribbon, your shaded spruce and gold striped ribbon sent out to you. Okay, gotta scoot those out of the way. And so next week on Facebook Live, we are gonna give away, <laughs> these are so fun. These are, uh, what I, I wanna make sure I call them the right name, the Monster Bash Enamel Shapes. So some fun Halloween-y little thingies here. So they've got like some little gravestones, some skulls, some ravens, and then some um, like epoxy dots. There are black and then up underneath here where you can't even see are some gray ones too. So really fun little accents that you can add to your Halloween project. So just in time for Halloween, we'll get these sent out to you after next Friday's Facebook Live video. Just share the video or sign up for my email list and you could win the cute little Monster Bash uh, enamel shapes. Okay. All right. So, all right. I'm going to keep scooting stuff out of the way. Um, what's next? What's next? I'm looking around at my little piles here. So, okay. If you put an online order in last week, you for sure are going to get those two cute little cards that I made on last Friday's Facebook live. Make sure you use the host code. I'll give you that in just a few minutes. Now I'm in a panic trying to make sure I have that. <laughs> I'm sure I do. I didn't pull it out though, so it's gotta be here somewhere. Oh boy. All right, maybe it's underneath something. I'll find it. If not, it's always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. I was gonna be super smooth today and it, <laughs> You know, there's always something. Anyway, last Friday, if you put an online order in, or actually from last Friday through Wednesday, you get these two cards in the mail, and I wait to mail everything out until after I do the drawing that I'm gonna do right now, okay? So for sure, you get these two free cards for putting your online order in and using the host code. If you ordered more than four, uh, $50, actually, you are gonna get a pack of the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels, which are my absolute favorite. I have used these so many times because there's so many great colors in there. And then your name right now is going in the drawing to win that Feels Like Frost designer series paper which was that beautiful. This is actually, I think, one of the prettiest ones. <laughs> I'm 
Sandra. Thank you. Host code NPTCWZUH. You are awesome, Sandra. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing that. I appreciate that. So if you need the host code, just look in the comments. Sandra posted it right there for me. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. That's very sweet. And hey, Julie, how are you doing? <laughs> All right. So I had a couple of online orders last week. So those names are in my little paper pumpkin bag. So we're going to toss those around and draw our winner. And that person is going to get those two cards. And let's see who is the winner. Then they're going to get this Feels Like Frost Designer Series paper too. And that goes to Miss Tammy Mitchell. All right, congratulations, Tammy. So you're going to get this awesome little pack of goodies sent out to you. If you didn't win, you're still going to get this awesome pack of goodies. So <laughs> you have it at your desk. That's really cute, Sandra. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> very sweet. Okay, so I will get those mailed out to you. Um, let's see, oh, you guys wanna know what we're gonna give away this week? I was all excited because I got a hold of another. <gasps> Tammy, you just won, you just missed it, I just drew. So you won, now I gotta go back and show you. So Miss Tammy, you won the Feels Like Frost Designer Series paper. And you're gonna get the two cards that I did on Facebook Live last Friday. And you ordered, I think, more than $50, so you're also gonna get the rhinestone jewels. So congratulations, Miss Tammy, that's too funny. You're like 30 seconds too late to like see me draw your name, but I've got it right here. <laughs> okay, sorry, that was fun. Um, okay, so yeah, back to what we're gonna do. Uh, next Friday's Facebook Live, we are gonna give away, so use the host code, the NPTCWZUH, order online. Uh, you're going to get the projects I'm going to demonstrate in just a little bit. If you order over $50, you get those rhinestones, the holiday rhinestones, and your name goes in the drawing to win the Mary Moose stamp set. So this was one that was our product of the week a couple of weeks ago, and we did some really cute cards with this one. So uh, yes, you're welcome, Tammy, and that's cute, Sandra, to say congratulations. Very nice. Um, okay, yeah, so this is what we're going to give away, the cute little Mary Moose stamp set. I'll remind you, the sentiments say, happiest of holidays is that top one. This one says, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Um, ooh, I like this one. Enjoy the stillness of the season, because I'm not very still much, so I should <laughs> I should uh, heed that, right? Um, and then, oh, this is a cute one too. Have a cozy Christmas, right? And then the little moose, and then you have to get the moose punch, right? And then we've got some pine trees and some cute little thingies to decorate your moose or your trees with, little presents, little, is that a raccoon, I think? I'm a floating on a log, maybe. So fun little stamp set. So. Yeah, I'll be excited to draw for that next Friday, okay? Um, I feel like maybe, have I gone through? I had a couple things that I had in the, the beginning of my notes and I moved them down to later in my notes, so now it's confusing me. So let me do a quick peek and make sure, but I think we have talked about everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot to give a quick congratulations. So uh, one of my downline, Miss Brenda Worley, just promoted to Bronze Elite. So she got to $1,800 in sales. That's how you promote to Bronze Elite. So now she gets 25% off of all of her orders. So traditionally or standard, when you buy the starter kit, you get 20% off of everything that you order from Stampin' Up. But once you get to Bronze Elite at $1,800 in sales, you get like a pay increase. You get 25% off of everything you order or you earn 25% on everything that you sell. So congratulations, Miss Brenda. That is awesome for you. Like giving you like the air high five. <laughs> so yeah, I'm glad I checked my notes because I don't like to miss those sorts of things. So, okay, I think, because I've got a few things I want to show you guys. Hey, Rosemary, I'll see you at class in just a little while. <laughs> okay, I'm still looking for that host code. Thank you, Sandra. I really wanted to put it out, but you know, it's buried probably underneath something. Okay, so let's, we're gonna actually move the camera. I feel like, ooh, I'm doing really well. Most times I think I'm gonna do really well and then I still go just as long as I always do, but maybe today I'll like, we'll see, right? <laughs> you never know. Okay, so turn your heads away for a sec. We're gonna flip the camera down. I've got something fun to show you guys too. So, or lots, actually lots of fun things to show you. But this one just caught my eye, so, okay. Alrighty, so flipping the camera, it's in a different spot, so I'm going to 
Like, where is it now? Okay, so you guys, have you seen? This is some new holiday grid paper. And I am gonna make a note, because I, I was hoping sometimes they put the little item code right in the corner there, and they didn't on this one. So you can get, if you want some of this cute little holiday grid paper, it's 13, I think they said, well, the full sheet is 13, 13 by 13. So it's not, I think the other ones are like 18 by 11, or maybe 13. Anyway, not quite as wide but still super cute so they've got the fun kind of garden green with the trees this is kind of part of like the perfectly plaid sweeter wrapped in plaid and then the other side we'll have to decide maybe we'll use we're going to do one of each today i think well so we'll use this side and we'll use the other side also so this is a little bit more of the twall christmas theme here so you can see it kind of goes all the way around but you can order this grid paper and um then have it for fun holiday card or project making, okay? So, all right, I want to, oh, before I jump into the projects, I wanna just do a quick reminder about the, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna do this. So I'm gonna grab my calendar because I haven't done this in a while and I thought I need to make sure everybody knows what's going on around here and look at how nicely that fits right inside there too. Okay, so, um, Mm, hold on one sec. I need to adjust something here. There we go. Okay. So I wanted to do a quick reminder about, this is what I was starting with. So Sandy, hello, and Mary, how are you guys? The holiday bundle class that features the Christmas gleaming stamp set and the gleaming ornaments punch pack. So I'm going to show you guys. These are the four cards that we are going to make at that class so maybe we'll do it like that, right? Okay, so you're gonna make two of each of these cards, right? I wanna give you a quick info on the different options that are available. And I will also say this is a class to go to. So if you can't make it on Wednesday, October 23rd to the live class here in Alma, if you wanna get the to-go version, you can do that. And I'll give you all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards, right? Um, so option number one includes, and I'm gonna grab my my... I forgot to bring that product over, so I'm going to show you. It includes the Christmas Gleaming Stamp Set and the Gleaming Ornament Punch Pack, which you can see the stamp set right here a little bit better, too. So beautiful. Love this stamp set. It's gorgeous. It's been our product of the week, too, so we've shared lots of fun projects with it. Okay, so option number one includes that bundle along with the PDF tutorial and then parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards. So option number one is $69. It's the same price for the live class too, okay? Option number two for to-go versions is assuming you already have the stamp set and your punches. So you, cause you need those to do your own stamping on the to-go versions, right? So option number two includes these little, the star designer elements, those little guys right there. It also includes all of the ribbon, the pretty peacock and old olive reversible ribbon and then a quarter of a pack of the designer series paper that we use on these cards, along with the PDF tutorial. Okay, so option number two is $42. Then option number three is if you just want the PDF to tell you how to put everything together, no product, um, I can send that out to you immediately. That's always $15. And then if you are in my downline and would like to get all the parts and pieces to make two of each of those cards, you get your own stamp set and punch to do all your own stamping and punching. Um, under your demo ID, right? So you can get your discount. That option number, actually it's number four for my downline is $12. So it's basically cost to cover all the parts and pieces. Um, and that's an awesome perk for being in my downline. The other thing, if you're in my downline, you can get the PDF tutorial for free too. So let me know if you're interested, if you have any questions. These, I mean, this paper, I just, you guys, I cannot get enough of how gorgeous all like, oh my gosh, I'm just like, I love, 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 love this paper. I know I've told you that 15 times already so in case you don't know <laughs> okay so I think are we ready you know I have to check my notes one more oh no 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 we're not done we haven't talked about the rest of so this for the holiday bundle class I need to have RSVPs by Monday the 21st for class um, and then also for the to-go versions. Okay, so Monday, October 21st, just make sure you let me know if you wanna to come to class or get one of the to-go kits, okay? We have scrapbook class at the end of the month, the last Tuesday of the month on Tuesday, October 29th, and I need RSVPs for that by Sunday, October 20th, okay? And then we've got some more fun stuff. I'm gonna see if I can just flip that up. Oh, I don't like that glare. Hold on, 
or the shadow, I guess I should say, right? So in November, we have our weekend retreat on the first, second, and third in Lansing. If you're interested, we still have spots available. We're still, we've got a few more to fill it up. We're hoping to be able to do that. So let me know if you're interested. I'd love to get you um, involved. It is so much fun, that retreat is. And then we've got bingo on Thursday, November 7th at 7 p.m. at the Stamp Studio. So if you're interested in playing, we play bingo and we make projects and I give you cute treats and some fun like a goodie bag kind of of products also so that is on Thursday November 7th I actually need RSVPs for that um, the Monday before I think 31 30 29 maybe it's the 28th 28th of uh, November I need RSVPs for bingo too so let me know if you guys have any questions I'd love to get you signed up for any of those events or um, class to go kits and I have actually I'm working on I'll tell you that I'm working on another to go kit and I was really hoping to have it done and this week you know sometimes things don't go quite the way you want them to but I'll give you a little sneak peek it features this so many stars stamp set and then we're actually going to use these um, stitched stars dies I'll show you those actually right now because it's beautiful so the so many stars stamp set some great sentiments and the fun thing is look at all those beautiful stars so they've got a bunch of um, dies that will cut out so all a bunch of different sizes of stars and then there's this whole scrolly thing that then cuts out all of these little stars too so you can stamp this and then get all of those little stars and then you end up with that little scrolly thing it'll make more sense when you see the cards that we're working on but here are the dies too so this is that scrolly the scrolly thing that i keep talking about it goes you see how that's perfect too you guys know this right everything that they show in the catalog is actual size unless they say otherwise <laughs> i know nikki i wish you lived closer too that would be so fun to have you join us at classes maybe maybe someday you'll be in michigan right <laughs> you never know but so did i say this i you know i get like sidetracked but everything is actual size in the catalog unless it says otherwise so this is a perfect example of this die and how it fits perfectly, it will be that exact size too, if that makes sense. So you're, if you're wondering, is that star really that big? Yes, it's really that big. Is that star really that small or any of these images? Everything is exact size and that's your perfect example. So that's that fun little scrolly thing there too. I'll show you, you can kind of see it on that card right there. Do you see the red? If I get right in there, you can kind of see the scrolly. And then that's one of the big stars that's in there too. So beautiful um, set, stamp set and framelits or dies. Um, and that's going to be another to-go kit. And I will have it done this weekend and I'll get everything posted and emailed. And I'll show you guys those next week then too. Okay. So yeah, maybe I'll be back on track. It's the story of my life, getting back on track, right? <laughs> I think many people can relate. Okie dokie. I think, I feel like I've missed something, so I want to keep checking my notes. So just bear with me one sec, because I think maybe we're ready to talk about that trimmer. Yeah, the paper trimmer. Okay, so yeah, I think we're good to go. So the one thing that I love, because I use another um, kind of a big like guillotine paper cutter, and it doesn't, um, it's not very easy to cut, like if I just wanted a little half inch strip, and this is actually really, really nice. So you can see we've got numbers on both sides. I have yet to, I gotta work on it. I was thinking maybe I would cut from over here, but that didn't quite feel right to me. So what I would do is if I wanted to line this, so this is zero, right, along the little grid line there, and I wanna cut just like a little half inch strip. Actually, I feel like the paper wants to go this way a little bit better. So we're gonna line it up across Across the top and I'm gonna find so here's zero here's one so a half inch is that little guy right there and I want my glasses where are those this is gonna be helpful for me okay so here's my half inch and the nice part like I said is we've got lines all the way down here so it's gonna be really easy to make a good straight clean cut because I have like I said I haven't had a paper trimmer and even the last one I don't feel like worked quite as well as I wanted it to. And this fits right down in here very nicely. And then I'm gonna just, whoop, maybe I'll go back down too for fun. And what I've found, can you guys, I don't know if that's in view very well. This, like it, it can you hear that? It really kind of clicks and locks in place. And I feel like I'm kind of yanking on it 
I think if you loosened it up after a while, it would come up easily, but I don't love how I can't get that up nice and easy, and I don't wanna ruin anything. So I'm gonna be lifting it up like this on the ends, cause then it's kind of pushing that little pressure. There's like a little knobby kind of a thing right there, okay? And then look, beautiful, how perfect. Oops, if I can slide that off of there. We've got our nice little half inch cut on our trimmer. And like I said, maybe maybe if you're left-handed, that would be helpful. I don't know. I haven't used this side yet because I just haven't used it too much. But I'm really loving. It's just made a nice smooth cut on there. That track, that was one of the things that I know people had to get new tracks. And it looks like that's not going to be something that you're going to need to do either. So great features. And I'll show you again. Let's scoot that out of the way. So this just pops, and it's tight right now, but it pops right out of there. And it's even got a little foot. Can you kind of see? There's a little foot right down on there. So that was another thing, you know, to make sure it's like level, kind of from one side all the way over to the other so your paper doesn't get cut funny. So it goes, can you see, all the way to 17 inches there too. So very cool. Scoring and cutting. Love it. Going to have lots of fun with this. So let's make our first card. And I'm not even going to show it to you yet, but I have a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock. I'm going to lift that baby up. And I want to, so I always just show it, right? So I'm going to actually cut it for you. So I want to cut it at five and a half inches. So we're going to lay that down. I lined it up at five and a half inches. I'm going to make my cut there. And I'm actually going to put that up. And do you see, am I in view very well? This kind of nests right up in there so it's not in the way at all so I can score or cut um, fully on a 12 inch track here too. It's probably even more than 12 inches. Okay, so beautiful, huh? Nice straight cut. Now we are gonna score it. So along the eight and a half inch side, I wanna score it at four and a quarter inches. And you can see we've got those lines. Oh, it's really nice and slick here too. So it moves across here really nicely. So cutting up here, I do not wanna use that one. I'm gonna use my scoring blade. And I always have to go over it a couple times. But there we go. And again, we have our nice crisp fold on our card and a beautiful card base to begin our card making. Okay, all right, so well, we're just gonna scoot that right over there out of the way, because we're gonna do that again, because I'm having fun showing that and I need a quick sip of water. Okay, so you guys, check out this card. This is the card that we're making at class today. And I was inspired, this is similar um, to a card that I saw in the catalog, because I love, I mean, they, it completely caught my eye, all those projects did. So I thought, well, why don't we just make something fun that's kind of similar to what's in the catalog? And I hadn't had this ribbon yet before. This is, what is it called? The, mm, it's the classic weave. It's like a half an inch wide classic weave ribbon, and you can see, so it says Merry Christmas in kind of bold blocky letters, and then pretty kind of scripty cursive writing there, right? So isn't that beautiful? So we just wrapped a big bow around our card, and then this, I'll show you, these are the foil elements. Um, let me just show you those right now because they're so pretty, pretty. They come in a pack. You get five sheets like this. Maybe I'll lay it down, is that easier? Let's get into, I wanna get this centered. This is kind of throwing me because normally I have a, like a wider grid paper here. Um, and I actually used one of the sprigs already, but we have two big stars right there. We have two small stars right there. Actually, if I turn it this way, you can see a little bit better. And then these are ornaments right here. Everything kind of pops right out. And then these are sprigs. You can kind of see that one because I've already popped that one out. There's a sprig there and then one there and one there. And you get five sheets of this in your package. So tons of these beautiful copper foil elements. There's no adhesive on them. You just pop them out. So we're going to do that. Um, they're just kind of perforated. So we're just gonna pop our star out just like that and we'll have to add some adhesive to it. Um, but that's it. So very cool, huh? Okay, so we're gonna scoop that out of the way. And it comes with these little, I don't know, tissue paper pieces to keep everything so they don't get kind of like wedged in between each other in there either, which is lovely. Okay, so let's see here. Let me get what we need, right? Okay, so we've got our card base. Um, let's see, let's see what else. I'm gonna grab my stamps and things too. We did some stamping on the inside of the card. I'll show you that in a sec too. Okay. Oh, you know what? Should we do, let's do our embossing. And I actually, I was cutting these for another project. 
and I ended up cutting an extra star. So, and you guys, you know, you know how to cut these things, right? But that star is the largest one that you can cut with these, oops, with these framelits. I've picked up two of them. Here we go. So this star right here is what I used to die cut that big, beautiful star. And if you can see what I did was I just layered that on there. So you kind of get a little, ooh, look at that, huh? <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? So that's how I did that. So we'll just skip that cutting step because um, you guys have seen me do lots of die cutting around here. But I do want to show you, and you know what? I meant to grab my platform. I was looking earlier and I realized I need, because this is a 3D. Sorry, I have any, oh no, it's, no, okay. Never mind. kind of. <laughs> I'll just explain what I mean in a sec. This is the Hammered Metal 3D embossing folder. So I have my blue like 3D embossing folder plate, but I forgot to grab my other platform. So I am gonna have to run and grab that. So I've got the magnetic one here and I don't need that for this project. So let me go get that real quick. I will be right back. in every Facebook Live, there's one little thing. It's a good thing I run really fast, right? Okay, so we've got our regular platform. We have, this is a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock. I should have showed you that before, but it measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? We're gonna put that inside, and I have my little sticky on here because sometimes I care which way, and I'll show you what I mean, it's easier. Um, which way the embossing goes. Because when you put your paper in here, when you have it facing up this way, it pushes those little divots down into your paper and on the back side they pop out. So it just depends, and I'll show you what I mean by that when I pull it out. But this, since it's the same on both sides, when I was using it on the copper foil, I kind of couldn't decide whether I wanted it to pop out or kind of kind of divot in the paper. And I liked it both ways. But if you really, really care, then you're gonna to want to decide before you put your paper in. So can you see, this is kind of pushing like little divots down into the paper. And then on the back side, this looks very reptilian to me, I think. Um, this is popping out. So again, when you put your paper in like this with the Stampin' Up! logo facing up toward the top, it's gonna push those things down in and then the back side is where they pop out of. So you just have to decide which way you want that to go on your paper. And with the navy paper, it doesn't matter. But the copper foil is copper only on one side, so it does matter on that. Okay? Or maybe you just don't care, and whatever happens, happens, and that's what you use. Okay, um, let's see. So I also want to tell you guys other measurements. This is a piece of that beautiful, brightly gleaming designer series paper. I love that backside too. Oh. Huh just gorgeous, the blues and the greens. So this piece measures three inches by four inches, okay? And then these are, I think I only need one of these actually. No, I got two. This goes on the inside of our card. This is where we're gonna do our stamping. So it's a very vanilla piece. So I stamped and I added another one of those little copper foil accents. So this one also measures the five and a quarter inches by four inches. Okay, and that's all you need in terms of measurements of things. Okay, so I think we can, let's do our stamping and then we can put things together. So I've got my Knight of Navy ink and let's see, on the inside, here we go. And I want a little, let's get a little bit of scrap paper here because I don't want to make a mess of my grid paper <laughs> yet. Oh, and you know what? Oh no, we're good, okay. Yep, so tap, 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 nice and easy. I'm gonna put this pretty ornament right here in the corner. Ooh, look at that, isn't that beautiful? And it kind of mirrors, do you see the pattern in the stamp is kind of mirrored in that paper? Isn't that so pretty? I'm gonna get up a little bit closer so you guys can see. Isn't that oh, so crisp and gorgeous? Love that. And then we also, and I think I want, just to be safe, because this is such a solid image, and I wanna make sure I get that going the right way. These sleeves might not have been the right thing to wear. They're really big and blousey and they're like, they're moving everything. <laughs> I'm gonna find stuff tucked inside probably is what's gonna happen. My sleeves later, okay. Hopefully that went straight enough. All right, woo, looks pretty good, I'd say. Okay, 
So that's all we need for our stamping. We are gonna pop that stuff out of the way. I'm gonna scoot this over. Okay, so let's put our card together. I feel a little disorganized here. <laughs> you know. All right, so we've got this piece that we've embossed. I like this side. Can you guys see one more time that side or that side? I like this side better for some reason. So I'm gonna call this my, my front of my paper. And we are gonna add our designer series paper and I'm gonna use a good amount of adhesive on this piece because we are putting it on an embossed piece that's already a little bit bumpy. So it's gonna tend to not wanna stick quite as well. So we have to use a good amount of adhesive to make sure, make sure it's lined up. And then we're gonna press really firmly to put that down on there, okay? Then we have our foil, so our copper foil. And can you see the little stitching on there? Very, very pretty, right? Okay, and I want, where's my little silicone craft sheet? I did bring it this time. Okay, so I am actually just gonna put a little bit of adhesive. And you know what I started to think? I wonder, as I did that, I think I wanna pop it up. We're gonna put a dimensional behind there and see what that looks like. We're gonna try that this time because on this one, I did not do that. So it's just flush right on there and I kinda of wanna see what it's gonna look like if we pop it up. Cause it might, you know, you might see it a little bit better too. Okay, so we're just gonna put that. And I am gonna cover up so we're not gonna see cause I'm already like, oh no, I should have used a mini but I think we're gonna be okay because I'm gonna use my little half inch circle punch with some Knight of Navy cardstock. We're just gonna pop that little baby out. Now this one, yeah, we're gonna put this right on our star and that is gonna cover up that white. And I think I do like it better. I think you can see that little foil a little bit better. So we've got that little half inch circle and then we need one of these cute little, I've used a bunch of them, you can see, right? On all of those um, little treats that I made for everybody from the one day retreat and the retreat in a box. And I will tell you if you're interested, I'll be doing another retreat in a box in the spring with our spring retreat. So make sure you keep an eye out for info on that. That won't be for a while. I'm not even thinking about that. <laughs> in the next spring, we'll be doing that one. Okay, so I'm gonna put some dimensionals. Oops, I, they stuck together. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna put some dimensionals on this guy. And we're gonna add him to our Knight of Navy embossed piece. Okay, I don't think I need that guy anymore. Okay, and I want him just kind of off at an angle like that. Ooh, yeah, I like that. And I like, I feel like I can see it a little bit. I wanna like curl it up a little bit, right? Ooh, that is so pretty. Okay, now, ha ha, my most favorite part. Now, the one thing that you want to do is, let me think about this, because I don't want it to be upside down. Like, I don't want it going like that, right? So I'm kind of coming at it from the opposite side that I normally would. And good, yep, that is gonna be, and just we're gonna like unroll a bunch of it. So we have a good amount of ribbon to work with. And we're gonna tie our bow. Now the other thing, let's give it a little bit more, that you need to think about is, normally I would flip it like this, but I don't, I wanna see the writing on it. So I'm gonna have to kind of flip it again, almost flip it back over, so I can get the writing on it the outside and then this one opposite. I wanna show the white there, but when it flips through, it's gonna come back through with the writing on it. Okay, so now we're gonna make the bow pretty because I've kind of got it where I want it, I think, right? And you can play with this for quite a while <laughs> if you wanted to, but we're not gonna do that today. Okay, so we're gonna just trim that off. I'm gonna trim that guy off a little bit there too. Okay, now, whoo, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? We just need a bunch of adhesive again. I'm gonna run a good amount of adhesive all the way around this baby so that it, oops, and I flung that on the floor. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put that maybe right about there, right? Okay. There we go. I hear the rain, the wind. It's kind of an ugly fall day today. We've had beautiful fall weather all week long, so I could not complain, but today it's over. <laughs> it's supposed to get a lot colder too around here, I think. So 
That's all right. Winter's coming, right? Okay. So, oh, let's see. One more thing. We're going to put this little baby on the inside of our card, and I have to add that foil ornament in here, too. Okay, so this is just one of the cards you will receive with your online order anytime between now and next Wednesday at midnight. And again, we are going to pop out one of these. So you can see there's our little, we're going to put that guy right there. So I want my silicone craft sheet that's hiding right here. Okay, so this one, I just want to, you guys can see this, right? I am just going to, like with little flicks of adhesive because I do not want to run a full strip because inevitably you're going to get adhesive in the middle there but I want as little of that as possible so just kind of nice and easy and then if you rub your finger inside there you can use your um, adhesive remover but you want to be really careful with that because I don't want to rip the foil so instead I'm just going to kind of use my finger to press firmly and I can kind of rub off any of that extra adhesive that got in those little swirls so, all right, there we go, card number one. Isn't that beautiful? OMG, I love this stuff. I, I have to stop playing with it, though, because I feel like I've showed you guys so many things with that pretty um, designer series paper, that brightly gleaming designer series paper, but I hadn't used the ribbon yet. Isn't that beautiful? I can see having lots of fun with that with um, Christmas uh, presents, too, wrapping and putting that bow, that ribbon on there also. So, okay, there is card number one. Bear with me one sec. Let's use our little scrubby pad thing. And mine, I tend to <laughs> forget to get wet. So the edges are a little bit dry, but the center is still good. So we're just gonna clean that little baby off and then we're gonna clean this one off too. And I love how clean they get also, right? Looking good, huh? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Susie. I'm glad you enjoyed that one. Me too. Okay, so we're gonna put this away because this is the card I need to take back down to class. So I really do need to have myself together here so that we don't forget anything because that would be very bad, right? Very, very bad. Okay, I think we're good. I need that stuff there. Okay, so. And this other card, oh, hold on. We have to flip the paper over. We're going to use this side of the grid paper now because it's so pretty, isn't it? I am loving, like, okay, yeah, this is the grid paper I'm using for the next couple of months until Christmas is over, which it's not even started, right? So we got a while. So here is the other card we're going to make. So again, it's using our Christmas gleaming stamp set. I used that other ornament right there. That was the one we did on the inside of the other card. And then we're going to use this one right on there, right? And then I used Seasons Greetings is actually from another stamp set. I'll show you that in a sec. And then you can see the pretty leaves and berries there we put on the inside. So kind of a very different color combination, but look at how nice that looks with my grid paper too, right? <laughs> Loving it. All right, hold on. Let's grab everything we need for this one. Okay. Oh, so here, this is the other. If you guys don't have this stamp set yet, this is a fabulous one also called Itty Bitty Christmas. So it's like uh, 18 different ways to kind of say Merry Christmas or some version of that, right? So we use the cute little Seasons Greetings. And I'll tell you, there's also, we've got Very Merry, Believe, Lots of Love at Christmas, there's a little to and from, you can always use that, right? No peeking till Christmas. I can see some fun little tags made with that one, right? Blessed Christmas wishes, that's beautiful too, right? Uh, have a sugar sprinkled season, uh-huh. <laughs> I, I know all about that. From our house to yours, that's a cute one too. Celebrate the season. Here's our season's greeting and peace and happiness. And then we've got thinking of you at Christmas. Oh, what yum. That's, that'd be cute on little cookies or something that you make, little treats. Happy holidays, Christmas cheer, joy to the world, happy Christmas, and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So beautiful, itty bitty Christmas stamp set, right? Lots of great sentiments in that set. Okay. And we also used, these are the Twal Tidings Glitter Enamel Dots. You can see I've used a bunch of them already, but they come in Garden Green and Real Red, and then in a variety of sizes too. So I used a bunch of the red ones 
that actually probably goes about like that. So there's a whole nother section that I've already used of those, okay? And let's see, we'll get some ink. Um, how about I tell you, let's do measurements, right? So our card base is, well, you guys know this, right? It's funny because the grid isn't quite the same. We've got the eight and a half uh, by five and a half, okay? So I cut my paper along the 11 inch side and a half at five and a half, and then I scored it along the eight and a half inch side and half at four and a quarter. Garden green cardstock to start. Oh, just so you guys know, I will have all of the measurements and all of the item codes for everything that we're using on these cards. Um, because I have to run to class, it will either be later on this afternoon, evening, or first thing um, tomorrow morning. So don't, don't worry, all the item codes and all the measurements and everything will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, but it, it'll either be later on tonight or tomorrow, okay? We also have two pieces of very vanilla cardstock that we're gonna use on the card front and on the inside of the card, and these both measure four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then we have some scraps of garden green and very vanilla for our die cutting and punching and stamping. This is some of the beautiful Toile Christmas designer series paper. So real red on one side, same desi designs, but in garden green on the opposite, right? So if you can see that, we're gonna use the real red this time. So this piece measures a five and a quarter by one and a half. And then this one is also five and a quarter by three quarters, okay? So let's do our stamping. Nope, actually we're gonna do our die cutting first before we get too much out. So I need to do my squares. That's all I need to do here. So I need a stitched shape square and then a little scallop edge right there. Okay, let's do both of those. Then I can get the big shot out of the way. Okay, do that. So this time I have my magnetic platform. And I've got my garden green and very vanilla cardstock on here. And from the layering square dies, we are using, let's make sure, this is, actually it goes right there. There's one bigger one that I'm using on something else. So this is the second largest scallop edge square for our garden green cardstock, okay? And where's my other? Oh, right here in the stitched shape framelits okay this is actually the largest square in there with the stitching on it okay all right so here we go we're gonna pop these right on here i think there we go yeah, we crank our handle so the magnetic platform one clear plate underneath your paper your dies with the ridges pointing down and then one more clear plate on top completes your sandwich, right, to make your, and you see the stitching on that one, right? And then the scallop edge on that one right there. Very pretty, huh? Okay, we're just gonna scoop this off right out of the way. And let's do some stamping now. We need some stamps and some punches and more pretty ribbon because every card <laughs> pretty much that I make needs some ribbon. Okay, so on the inside, we're gonna stamp that since I have that in my hand first. We have one piece of very vanilla cardstock. Our garden green, you can see how this could be a problem, right? Get my sleeve right in the ink too. Okay, so nice easy, you guys see I'm doing this tap, tap, tap. I'm not pressing super hard and I don't wanna get ink all over my clear block because I don't need it there. There, okay, so that's what we're gonna do on that one. I'm gonna set that aside. Then, actually we don't even do any stamping on this one. We need to do our stamping in real red ink with our ornament. Ooh, I love it, love it, love it. And then we're gonna go down on the end here. We're gonna stamp our sentiment upside down, but that's all right, because it's a punch. So we're gonna use, this is the classic label punch. Again, I'll give you names and item codes for everything on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, okay? So there's our little label. And then the larger of the two ornaments 
in the punch pack. I didn't even bring the other one over, but you get two punches in the punch pack. Beautiful. We're going to pop that baby out. And then we don't need that anymore. Okay. So now I think we can start putting things together. So let's add our designer series paper. So we're going to run some adhesive. Okay. And I'm stuck to it. Run in a few right along there. Okay, so this piece we are going to add. Isn't that beautiful? And this was not my favorite. When I first saw this paper, it wasn't really speaking to me. But the more I've played with it, which you know how that happens, right? Everybody says that. I didn't even like that. I didn't even see it in the catalog. I didn't even notice it. And then you see people playing with these things and... You know, it changes. It does for all of us, right? Okay, so we're going to add our adhesive on here. And actually, I'm going to do this one for the inside right now also. Okay? All right. So we're going to fold that. So for the inside, we're going to put that piece right in there. Just make sure it's kind of lined up around the edges and then press firmly because you can always lift it up. And that's why I don't put adhesive in the middle of my cardstock. You can see I'm just doing it around the edges. So if I put it on here and it's and it's oops and it's stuck where I don't even want it or it's crooked or something, I can lift it back up more easily because I just kind of have to peel up around the edges. So you can see if I were to lay that down and I didn't like it, I could pick that back up and try it again. Okay. But if you put adhesive in the middle, I, don't, I just don't think you really need it because the edges are where, right, it looks good. So then we're going to press really firmly. And now it's in place. Okay, let's see. So we need, we're going to add this little square. We're going to do this one next. Oops, okay. Hey, Tammy, how are you doing? You have a super cute little grandson. I've seen pictures of him. <laughs> so fun. Oh my gosh, it reminds me of when my kids were little. Feels like eons ago now. Okay, so we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of that one. And then we're going to add this to our card base. Okay. Seems so quiet. Not that you guys really know, right? But it does. It seems really quiet around my house today. Usually I live right in town and usually it feels like there's kind of a lot going on. But maybe with the rain, it's keeping people away. Okay, so we're going to dimensional our ornament, and then we're going to grab some baby, the little mini dimensionals, because those fit perfectly on there, and then you can't even see the edges peeking out, right, or behind, okay? So you can see this is a really simple card, but just beautiful with that real traditional red and green, right? Real red and garden green, and it's all based off of kind of the twelve Christmas Sweet. I will show you that real quick. Where's my catalog? Huh. Seriously, you'd think I could find it. I don't know where it is. Well, maybe I, hmm. I'm going to look under one spot and if it's not there. Okay, it is. Yep. So just because I think this is fun, right? So here's the Twal Tidings bundle, right? So you can see how this kind of works perfectly, right? So real red and garden green because that's what they told me is in the designer series paper. So that's what I used on my project okay so we are going to finish this off with some bling and some ribbon so i'm going to grab a couple of these little the littlest ones in garden green the glitter twal tidings glitter enamel dots and then the star of the show right because that's just not complete yet is that we've got our garden green and vanilla it's like a stitched edge ribbon and this one doesn't matter so much. There, I feel like there is kind of a right side and a, eh, maybe not even. No, I don't think it matters at all. So this is a nice, easy bow to make. And we're going to put this on, and then we're going to, well, we're going to put it on with the mini glue dot. If I can get that fed through. This is a little bit more of a stiff ribbon. So it's not difficult to work with, but you can see I kind of struggled for a sec there to get that pulled through. But that's okay. Okay. We're going to grab a mini glue dot. Where are they? Okay, right there. Oops, I probably should have trimmed it off, but that's okay. We'll do that in a sec. Okay, so we're going to put that right there. Grab my scissors, and we're going to trim that side down just a little bit too. 
And there we go. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, so I hope you guys are loving this suite of products as much as I am. Well, or the bundle, actually. The stamp set, the Christmas gleaming stamp set, and the ornament punch pack, which I don't have. There's another smaller one that works with that little baby right there. So beautiful bundle of products. And you can see how if you like the traditional red and green, you can do that. Or if you want more of the blues uh, and the copper foil, you've got lots of good options there, right? So, okay, I don't think I can find my host code, but uh, Sandra reminded us the NPT C W Z U H is the host code to use this week. You will get both of these projects mailed to you with at least a $30 order. If you bump that order up to $50, you're going to get those holiday rhinestones. How is everything completely buried? Anyway, those holiday rhinestones that are beautiful that are around here somewhere. And then your name is going to go into the drawing to win the Mary Moose stamp set with your order. So thank you guys so much. All right. I did a pretty good job. I think that was just about an hour. So shoo. Okay. We did it. I have to clean up my mess after crafter math here and head down to the studio. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and let me know if you guys have any questions on anything. Um, yeah. And we will see you next Friday. Bye everybody. Have a good weekend. Thank you, Julie. <laughs>